Well, some members of Congress are bringing the Tea Party to Capitol Hill. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is here. She founded the brand new Tea Party Caucus in the U.S. House of Representatives. So what's the caucus going to do? Congressman Bachman joins us live. Good evening. Thank you, Greta. Nice to be here. All right, so what provoked this? Well, I think it's because it's really the movement that has happened the last 18 months where people, hundreds of thousands of people across the country have gotten up off the couch and have said, we want to do something about what's happening in our country. And people have tried to get a Congress's attention. They feel like they haven't. So now this is about members of Congress really listening to people in the Tea Party. And that's what we are. We're not the mouthpiece. We're the earpiece. And so we're members of Congress listening to what people are trying to tell us. All right. Now, a lot of viewers hear this term caucus all the time. I mean, there's all sorts of caucuses. What, what is the caucus? I mean, what's the function of a caucus? Well, it's members of Congress gathering around one central idea or subject. Like so give me an idea. Give me have, some ideas. We have the shellfish caucus. Okay. We have the potato caucus. Right. We have the biker caucus. The boat caucus. We have all sorts of different caucuses. The MedTech caucus in Minnesota. I'm a part of that caucus. But this is, we think that the Tea Party has credible ideas and things to listen to. And it's really basic. It's a fact that we don't think that government should spend more than what it takes in. We believe we're taxed enough already and that Congress needs to act within its constitutional limitations. Right. Is that That's sort of that. beyond sort of the, the, the Republican ideology, though? Um, because and, and let me ask this question. Do you have any members of leadership like, uh, like uh, Cong Congressman Leader Boehner or uh, Whip uh, Eric Cantor? Um, are either one of those going to join the caucus, the well, uh, Tea Party caucus? We have three members of leadership. Leader Boehner doesn't join any caucuses at all. And I spoke with Representative Canner. He was very supportive of what we're doing. And Tom Price, who's the head of the RSC, is in. Mike Pence, the head of the GOP who conference. Who's going to saying, I betcha. When you, I you betcha. Are you betcha. You betcha. You betcha. Well, because, saying. yeah, that's right, because he understands. Is that a Minnesota phrase or is yes. that a governor's phrase? Minnesota, Wisconsin, something like that, Alaska so, phrase. Oh, so Alaska. Right. Yeah. Um, now, um, is there any... Uh, sort of uh, have the Democrats said anything about the fact that you're forming a Tea Party caucus or had any sort of opposition to it? Well, the first letter I wrote was to Speaker Pelosi to invite her to be a part of the caucus. I hope she will. She's not going to. Well, I hope so. <laughs> you really think she's going to? Well, I'm hoping. The, the last person I spoke to yesterday in Congress was a, a Democrat, a, a male. Well, I can't say his name because he hasn't joined yet, but he told me that he's very interested and he thinks he will. We had our first will you meeting. Tell us first? It's sure. Okay, I will. Well, all right, we'll get to break it. All we'll, right. we'll tell you first. All right. We have 35 members of Congress, though, that have joined, and we just got approved on Monday. So this is really taking off. 24 members of Congress met this morning for our opening meeting. We had a dozen real people come, and we 24 sat on chairs, and we listened to 12 real talk us about their to talk to us about their all concerns. Right. How is you, the principles that you espouse for this caucus different from the Republican Party? Well, the Republican Party, I think, is about a lot of different issues. I, I think these issues really don't have to be Republican or Democrat. This is meant to be a bipartisan caucus. I mean, the idea of the fact that we're taxed enough already and the fact that we shouldn't spend more than what we take in and live within the Constitution, that's pretty mainstream. And there's Democrats that feel that way, too. So we want to invite. In fact, the people who came today to speak to us, some voted for President Obama, but they're very nervous about about what they've seen, and that's why they wanted to come to speak to members of Congress. Well, we have 30 seconds left. You represent uh, a portion of Minnesota, so tell me, is Brett Favre going to come back and uh, quarterback the oh, Minnesota Vikings? I think there's a better than 50-50 chance. Do you care? I really do. Yes, I do. I want him to come back. Why? Because he's dynamic. He's absolutely a fantastic quarterback, and I want to see him there. Well, he's running out of time. I mean, we are in July. I mean, he's got to make a decision soon. Right, he does, he will, but we're all rooting for him. We love him. We'd love him to come back. We have a great team. The Vikings are a great team. Well, the first game is against the uh, Saint, uh, the uh, New Orleans Saints. Are you going to uh, be there? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll watch. Anyway, nice to see you.